Hello, it's Nita, and I wanted to share with you my dictionary art journaling. There is a Facebook group called Dictionary Art Journaling, and I will put the link down below, but um, they have challenges. Sometimes it has to do with letters of the alphabet or holidays, etc. But it helps to keep me um, exploring different creative outlets. Sometimes I do mixed media or I try new um, pens, markers, paints, things like that. Just keeps those creative juices flowing. So anyway, this is the dictionary I picked up at the thrift store. It was very inexpensive. It's like from 1930. A lot of words aren't in here that I, I try to look up. <laughs> and so I have other solutions to that I'll show you. But anyway, it's starting to fall apart a little bit, but I taped it with some washi tape, keep it together. And I just want to show you some of the pictures that I've done in here. And I did an A. And um, again, I was trying different pens and markers. At first, I was rather timid about it, especially drawing over words in a book. It just kind of felt wrong at first. But um, as I go, I got bolder as the years had gone by. This one I did in 2015, so I've been doing this for a while. And I don't worry so much about being able to read the words on the page. I tried some cheap markers and color pencils and eventually started doing um, like pit pens and um, Prismacolor color pencils. Those are some of my favorites to use. This one I had already drawn this apple core so I put it in here for apple and it's just glued down. Since I'm reinventing the wheel I already had a sketch for that so I just cut it out and put it in here. Google is my friend. If I can't um, envision something clear enough. I'll Google images and sometimes draw from that, alter a few things, make it my own, but sometimes I just do cut and paste and that's what this one is. And I used uh, glue sticks and I found that it's not sticking down in the long haul so I may have to go back through and re-glue things. But there I did the Arctic and the word art. And painted three little pictures for that. Now these I used some really cheap children's watercolors. I think I got them from Michaels and they're very chalky but I love the way they sit on top of the paper. They don't absorb in, they don't leak all over the place or bleed or anything like that and so I really like them. You can see they kind of do a little shadowing but that doesn't bother me. Um, here's the word baby for a bee said that they have different challenges. I don't know if this challenge was just find a B word or if it had to do with babies or children or celebrating something. <clears throat> but I did that and I think I used gel pens here. And this one was my Prismacolor pencils for balloon or balloonist. And barn don't know if you can see it, but the word barn is right there in that little window. And try to hurry. Sometimes I just use stickers and things. The word beloved. Try to just use all kinds of things. I've used stickers and stamps and stencils. So bird. There we go. And this one was a challenge, I think something we remember about our grandparents I think and my grandmother had a Hoosier cabinet and she would make biscuits and I would hover nearby pleading for a little piece of raw biscuit dough. <laughs> she used a glass to roll it out with and to cut the perfect little circles and I just thought it was just so amazing. I loved watching her. Now this one is iridescent watercolors. They're not very expensive. Also I think from Michaels and I don't know if you can see that pretty shimmer but because of the shimmer, they also just lay on top of the page, which is great because this is old paper. It's very absorbent. It's also very brittle. I have to be careful. Uh, ink pens kind of want to tear through. Now this one, I kind of envisioned um, the old wood prints, wood block prints, and I kind of Googled some images and reworked them. I can't remember that this was together. It might have been two separate images, and I just resize them to work with each other. 
Now this one is one of my earlier ones and I had already done this one, a buttercup with a butterfly on it. So the next time around that um, we were supposed to do something about butterflies, I came in and I marked both words here, but then I just put in a quote over this page. If nothing ever changed, there would be no such thing as butterflies by Wendy Moss. So sometimes I go back in and I work something else nearby or on that page or sometimes I have to correct things. Here's Christmas candy. And this is an altered book page poetry where you find words and you highlight them and you kind of black out all the others around it. And I found that a lot of fun. That was a interesting thing to try. And in church. I'm trying to work kind of quickly on our the challenge was our favorite board game. And of course I love Clue, so I just had to Google images and then I printed them off and cut them out and just worked a, a page out of that. Got little steps around the edges, like working around the, the board game. And then there was National Chocolate Day, so I did cocoa. And here's those iridescent watercolors again. I did coral. I hope you can see that. It's really, really pretty. I'm not sure that it shows up very well on the camera. And this is a little tip-in. I had already been coloring with... Um, I think this might have been my new pit pins, not sure, but I was trying those out and then when the challenge came up for Thanksgiving, I just cut him out and taped him in, doing a little tip in. And this one I had already drawn the tools of the trade and they were wanting us to do a, an entry on our favorite hobby and I have too many so I just I looked up crafts, they didn't have crafts in here, but they had craft and create so I put it between those two words. And here's cross. Again, those iridescent watercolors are on the back, and then I think markers. Might have been those cheap markers I had. And it does pretty well. It didn't bleed through or anything. And here's a cup with a teapot pouring out a drink there, and then curtains. A lot of C words. Been through the alphabet a few times now with this group. Here's the daisy. I was thinking there was another one here. Oh, there it is. Daffodil. I started getting bolder. You can see I'm using white paint to just give me more of a blank canvas to work on. And just work through this. Dill. And again, this is the altered book page poetry highlighting the words that I liked on this page and then kind of blacking them out. I don't use black very much, but I use other colors and then highlight in different ways so that I can have my poem. There's dress. Isn't that cute? So that one was something found in your closet. And E was ear, earring, and earth. We're all three on this same page, so I made a little earth earring. And there's a fiddle. See that? I'm trying to keep this in and in the frame here. Here's a feather. And a fish. This one I use my Prismacolor pencils. And this one, the challenge was birds. I already had several birds in here, so I decided to go with a style of depicting birds, which I did folk art, because I love folk art. It's, folk art is very vibrant and cheerful, almost childlike. I really like it. And this one is forest. Totally whited out this page and then just stuck the trees in. Probably should have done like a night sky, but I liked it. There's giraffe for the G words and gypsy. Just see her tambourine and flowing skirts. And things you find in your garden. I did a little gnome, the daisy. This word was actually in my old 1930s dictionary. I thought that was kind of funny. And 
back to school. Did a good job with a gold star. Just a sticker. The word grace. And I just framed the word and then wrote it across the page. Here's grafting another little tip in since the page was kind of taken. And I had done a very simplistic hat and then later I was trying a hat for something else and did it as a tip in. See it's taped here in the center. And there's Holly. And rings had to do with my husband. I was doing our anniversary. We're coming up on 39 years this year. And ice cream. We love homemade ice cream. And illuminate. I just kind of framed it and then illustrated it. Kind of the way I was thinking of it. And this one I messed up. I don't like this page at all, but I'll show you. It's supposed to be my island. Looks like a pile of garbage. <laughs> but there it is. Uh, and a jar. I did a little mason jar. It's kind of fun to go through and find words that are easy for me to draw something really quick. A lot of these are done really quick, late at night. This goes in, but it keeps me... I don't know, loosened up creatively, trying to find different ways to do things and rethink and just keep doing, keep making things. Sometimes they get a little antsy if I don't get around to some creativity because I'm busy with other things. Anyway, here's lace, piece of washi tape and leaf. Here's my colors, I think, on that one. Lily of the Valley. And here's Memorial Day. A picnic and a nasal and nest and this one again is iridescent it's the ocean I don't know if you can see that stream of light comes down and hits the word ocean in October October both my babies were born in October one at the first and one at the end and then my hobby, one of them is painting. And here is a number two pencil. One of my first ones. You can see I don't even want to draw on the page. I just kind of got it in the margin there. And did a phoenix. I think I might have done this for something else. And then I was just playing around and decided to make it a tip out. I did it on some scrap paper. And I had used it. And I was doing a picnic and a pie. Something found it at a picnic and I did some little ants. Here's popcorn. Funnily enough, this word is in here, but it's hyphenated. <laughs> I like that. Again, I whited that page out. Mm. This one is a napkin art. You just peel all the layers till you get to the thinnest and then you glue it down and you can see the words through. I really like the effect. Something I wanted to try here again. Google images for the word queen. Of course I have to have Miss Queen here, the dog. I love dogs. And a quill. See that one? And this quilt was bits of paper, white paper with stickers on it, the flowers, and then I used washi all the way around the edge and made a little quilt. Some of these were happy mail from other people and some scrap paper that whenever I had paint left over, I just used it and made some pretty paper and then I can use it in different ways. Now this one's kind of interactive. This one is for reading, but you can see the book actually opens and I have quotes in here. So that's kind of fun. Got a peek in at you. And this one is Resurrection. You can see Empty Tomb. And then an S. And Sage. You can just do all kinds of things in your dictionary. Here's a scale different ways of highlighting the words. I really learn a lot from the people in the group. This one came from a catalog. 
we homeschool, and so we always get in the school catalogs. And that's just cut and paste. And here's screw. One of my early ones. Getting getting braver. And here's one of my latest ones. We're remodeling, so I can't even get to my craft room. And like I said, I get a little antsy, especially in the winter. And so it was kind of fun to get this out and do something. Nobody around here wants to do snowflakes with me anymore, cut them out. <laughs> So I had an excuse to get out the scissors and paper and just make them. And we're definitely snowed in. Again, this is that really cheap, chalky watercolor. And I love how it blends. I don't know if you can see that. But it just sits on top and just kind of work around with it. I like it. I want to try gelatos in here. I haven't yet. There's tint. And toboggan. Now, speaking of ones I mess up on, I've forgotten to put his little uh, rope in, the tie that you hang on to, the handle, and I had to come back in and do that. And I used stamps to the, do the snowflakes. And here was one for the Olympics. I was trying to use gel pens and metallic markers, and this one kind of tore through the page, if I remember correctly. It's kind of... I went through on it, but that's okay. Here is unfurl. You see the ferns are unfurling, and this one was the word undulate. So I just did different things of kind of undulating lines and unicorn. Again, those cheap watercolors just did fabulous. I don't know if you can tell. I really like it. And this is like an old school poster. It's supposed to be vegetables I did from garden to salad. I like that. That's fun. And there's water and waterfall. Those iridescent watercolors. Hey, it looks fabulous. I'm thinking I should add some white here. I'm always look on the lookout for good white. I think the Posca pen is my favorite so far. Here's wedding. And let me see. X. There's really not a lot of X words. So. Someone in our group has a, more like a medical dictionary or science dictionary. They're always doing some really cool words. And uh, they had x-ray, so I might try that one. Here's a U-berry. Here was a new word for me, a zizith prayer shawl. And zoo. I did like we did in school and used symbols or pictures to represent the different letters. So the zebra for Z. And O, Owl, O, Octopus. That was fun. Back pages are a good place to practice on if you want to try a marker or a paint and see how it's going to do. And, oops, here's one I forgot. Kind of skipped it. I think that was Reflection. Again, not one of my best. Sometimes, let's see if I missed any other ones here. Oh, yeah, here's another one, Jonquil. Sometimes I mark pages because that's where I want to work. I found a word I want to try to do. And this one was the Cosmos. Use the iridescent paints again. And she's just sitting here contemplating the Cosmos. That was a lot of fun. Let's see what this little bookmark has here. A few here that I forgot to show you earlier. So I'm just going to show you real quick. There's Laurel and Luggage. And I mentioned having to go in and correct things. I made this stack of luggage and then forgot to put a handle on this one. So here it is. Two years later, I finally got that fixed. And let's see. Olympics. And gosh, I don't know why it's starting to fall apart. Here's pearls and a pair since they were on the same page. I did them together. And let's see. I think I got reflection. Did I get travel? It's a little car. I'll load it down. So we love our road trips. See that? And last one, Trinity. Probably did this one for St. Patty's Day. Anyway, oops, here's another one. Now I mentioned that sometimes you use stickers and stamps and stencils, and that's what this one was. It was pretty much just stencil and stamps. 
and it's done. Anyway, have a great day. Keep creating, and God bless.